Tonight on WJCL, Hilton Head Island is moving forward on a workforce housing plan. It would give around a million dollars more towards affordable housing. We're joined by WJCL 22 News' Tia Maggio. And Tia, Hilton Head Council members have been pulling back the layers on this amendment for quite some time now before finally passing it. That's right, Hilton Head Island Council passed the amendment five to one at today's meeting. Now the amendment aims specifically make housing more affordable for those people working in the service industry. All those in favor of moving this forward, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed, that is five to one. Hilton Head Island voted to pass an amendment in efforts of maintaining its current workforce. Members of the public both urged and thanked the council for investing in the issue. I see our neighbors and Jimmy Go are struggling with their housing crisis. I'm up here to thank uh, uh, everyone for all the work that's been done by staff to get this to this point and look forward to it being approved. Thank you. Thank you. Missy Lewick, the planning director for the revision, says Hilton Head's increase in population has led to less affordable housing in the area. Limited supply also increases housing costs across the board. We have um, high housing prices for both our single family um, housing units as well as uh, condos or villas or, or townhome development. Lewick says the housing plans aim to help quote engine of the island, which she said includes nurses, emergency response personnel, as well as the food and beverage service. Typically the 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 salaries within that sector are are moderate salaries or lower uh, to moderate salaries. We are operating off of um, a workforce housing strategic plan that was adopted in 2019 as well as a workforce housing framework that was adopted in 2022 along with um, our comprehensive plan that includes uh, housing goal strategies and tactics within within that planning document as well. If passed, the amendment could provide additional funding of 15% of the accommodation taxes, which the city says could add up to a million dollars. Reporting from Hilton Head Island, Tia Maggio, WJCL 22 News. And Tia, thank you. The council will formally adopt the amendment at its next meeting. That's on March 19th.